Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 4th, 2024 New Moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, it gets this channel seen by more people, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It is listed in the description box below. And I look forward to reading for you and answering the questions that you have. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Capricorn, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guide, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. Let me just make sure everything is in frame. Perfect. Okay. So we're doing old school Dane readings, which I love that there's an old school Dane reading. One of you lovely listeners said, I miss this. I miss this spread. I miss this way of you reading. And you know what? You reminded me of it. And so do I. So I was so thankful. You guys are just so amazing. So thank you so very much. To the person who made that suggestion i don't remember who it is but now let's dive in so actually yeah no actually before we dive in let's see what spirit has to say and if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading put a butterfly in the comment box below a person will be chosen at random and announced at random so good luck to everyone angels and spirit guides show me clearly and know that the announcement will only be done on this channel so hit the bell notification here we have purify oh i love that purify with sage yeah that's absolutely beautiful you're going to see during this moon and during this time there's this real sense of purifying your energy purifying you know your intentions what you want a new moon is the time that we set our intentions not just for the next 15 days right till the full moon but for the next six months till we have you know, the full moon in Leo. We have the new moon in Leo, and then we will have the full moon in Leo in six months. So this is a moon where we set our attentions, purify our energy, see ourselves, move forward in what it is that we truly desire and what it is that we're truly looking for for us. So that's a huge thing. Let's see what our chakra energy is. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels. Here we have the inner child reverse. You guys know how much I love the inner child. Here with the inner child being reversed, spirit is saying connect, connect, connect. Connect with your heart. This is the heart chakra. Connect with who you were when you were small, the wonderment of it all. The new moon in Leo is a time of dreaming. It is a time of creativity. And so connecting with your dreams, connecting with your creativity, that is just so important and so powerful. So embracing the the inner child and knowing that we're having a bit of a blockage in our heart chakra we can tap our heart you know we can also tap down our vagus nerve 
which is from collarbone to, to our heart area with both of our hands on either side on our chest, you know, just activating that vagus nerve. I'm doing it right now. It feels so good. Calming ourselves, centering ourselves, seeing ourselves, embracing our love, our passion, but also connecting with who we were once upon a time. That is so important for who we are as we're moving forward and for moving forward. So let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of, angels and spirit guides. So here we have the magician. When spirit tells us to be mindful of the magician, be mindful of not seeing your magic, be mindful of seeing the magic in everybody else and totally downplaying yourself. Own your gifts. Stop putting yourself down. Stop saying, oh yeah, no, it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, no, I could be doing this better. That's your Saturn coming out. You're ruled by Saturn Capricorn. You can be hypercritical on yourself, on others. And here it's like, you know what? I'm awesome. Not in that pompous, arrogant, you know, I'm the best person in the whole entire world way of people, but in that way that says, I'm an awesome human being. I was created, you know, with magic in my blood, like with stardust through our veins, which is not just, you know, poetic, but beautiful and scientific. You are one of a kind. And so embracing who it is that you are and what it is that you love and moving forward in your passion and in your energy is just so important for you. It moves us to being crowned by the Eight of Cups reverse. We are having a hard time walking away from something we used to love, and we're having a hard time choosing us. So being aware of that is going to be important. I'm just going to turn these over now. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the King of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Five of Wands reverse. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense with the inner child. We have the King of Cups reverse. We have the King of the Knight of Swords reverse, the Two of Swords reverse, a lot of air energy reverse here, which is interesting. The Three of Wands reverse, then we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Swords reverse, which I love seeing the Nine of Swords reverse. Let me just check everything. Perfect. All right. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at a time of big change, especially around the way that we are empowered by our voice. This is air sign energy. The swords are air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you're born on the cusp with Aquarius, if Aquarius, there we go. If you have air sign energy in your chart, this comes through very powerfully. We're taking hold, but we're also going to be super impatient, which is an element of this moon that we need to be aware of. So being aware of that is going to be important. With the Knight of Cups reverse, this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All right, if we, if we have water sign energy in our chart, it is going to be important to know that we're going to miss we're going to mistrust our emotional side okay we're going to mistrust our feelings and we're going to sit there and say you know how can i trust my feelings they're not imperial facts right well you're not an encyclopedia you're like you're not a a mathematical equation you're you don't need to have facts with everything feelings are a huge part of who we are we're stories human beings are a conglomeration of of stories the stories we tell ourselves in our own heads, the stories that we live out in our lives, the interactions that we have, the way our story interacts with another story. And so here there is a sense of like, but I can't trust this. It's not fact. It's like, yeah, but it's story. And that's all we are. And so embracing that beauty of us and seeing that power of us is going to be so important because we're being very rigid. It's like you have to walk this path. That's that Saturn energy coming in. It's like you have to walk this path. It has to be just like this. And spirit's like, no, it doesn't. And we are crowned with a doubt. We're crowned with a question mark. We're crowned with a insecurity of self, okay, that's going to come forward. We're releasing a lot of doubt and fear and negativity and hurt and pain. We're releasing a lot of, of worry. We're, we're going to find that after this full moon, after this new moon, we fall asleep easier at night. There was a weight lifted off our shoulders. But first, we see ourselves and we see the scars. And we see the hurts and we look at us and it's kind of like you know i'm just seeing like you know when a dog when like you whistle or you do something like you make a weird sound and your dog tilts their head and looks at you and like what the heck are you doing and they do it again and they tilt their head the other way that's the imagery that's coming forward like spirits looking at you and like what the heck are you doing you know what the heck's going on here and we're looking at the things that we have done and and the the emotions that we have had and we're like huh what did you do there like what's going on there you know what did you mean by that and we don't have to know we don't have to know. We don't have to have the reasons behind it all, Capricorn. What we are doing is we need to realize, because this is going to be the big one for us, we're not the person we were. We're the person we are now. And that is a combination, a 
compilation. What word am I looking for? A compilation. There, I think that's it. Of of everybody we were, and also like the hope and dream of right now of everybody we will be. And so stepping into our power and stepping into ourselves is saying, I have this moment and I'm going to do well by it. Yeah, right. I'm making me proud right now as I stand right here. And I'm not going to take myself too seriously. I'm going to embrace my voice. I'm going to embrace my knowledge. I'm going to look at things from different angles. We're also going to be very drawn to people who are really smart, like who we think, wow, you're clever. Like, wow, I like this. So the mind is going to really attract us. During this time, we can also be drawn to people who are really emotional and really super, super, super intense. So this person is smart here, the King of Swords, but the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, they are more reactionary and they're going to be just, just super intense. I'm just, it's kind of like when you're a teenager and you get super intensely into something and it's like, it becomes your everything. So just be mindful about that during this time, because this is going to be very consuming energy. It's going to be very alluring energy, but it's also going to be very draining energy and not have a lot of follow through to it. So being aware of that. Now, this new moon, again, is in Leo. OK, it's very creative. It's very dramatic. All right. Everything can feel really, really big during this moon. So being aware of that, as we set our intentions, again, not just for the, the 15 days to the full moon, but for the next six months, you know, from this new moon in Leo to the full moon in Leo and moving ourselves forward in our power and in our tenacity and in ourselves, that is going to be the game changer. And that's going to be us seeing us very, very differently. Now, we also have the sun and the moon very closely opposing Caraclo. And Caraclo is the wife of Chiron. In Greek mythology, Chiron is the centaur who is the wounded warrior, who is the healer. And in us, astrologically speaking, we have our Chiron. Look in your chart. It's so cool. If you go on like, what is it? Astrology Cafe or something like that. I think that's the name of it. You can get your free, you know, birth chart done. And look where your Chiron is. That's your wound. And you might look at that and be like, how is that my wound? You know, but it's being able to embrace our voice. It's being able to to look at ourselves and say, this is me. Like I can I can stand in the power of me and in the power of what I want and in the power of who I am. And so our Chiron is the wound that we have to work through to stand in the power of who we are and what we desire from our lives. And that's going to be the hurdle that we have, even if it might seem like it's also our blessing. And we're like, wait a minute, that's that's also a blessing I have, astrologically speaking. So it's cool to check out. But Caraclo is is his wife and she is the silent healer. She is, as we see in all religions, as we see in all mythos, she is the the healing sacred feminine energy that stands with you that silently, you know, stands guard over you, who protects you, who helps you, who eases the pain, but is never in the forefront. And so here, this is a very serene moon, right? There's a very serene aspect to the moon, even though Leo energy is, is not serene, right? Leo energy is the spotlight, right? They're ruled by the sun. It's the spotlight coming forward. It is the, the power, the tenacity. It's the cat-like energy of I'm here when I'm here and I'm not when I'm not. You know, so it's embracing that that's also going to be very, very, very important for us. We are letting go of a lot of doubts and fears and we're finding a balance. We're finding a harmony within ourselves that we thought was lost. And it's around money. It's around what we value as much as money. And we're looking at heartbreaks that have defined us. And we're looking at things that have held us back. And we're starting to say, no, you don't get to be my defining factor anymore. You don't get to be my truth. So let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Mm -hmm. Gratitude. And spirit guides, angels. Attraction and faith. Oh, I love that. I love that alignment. <laughs> angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Okay. Chatty. The moon is being chatty here. Okay. So we do need, we're moving forward in gratitude. It's almost like we're moving forward hand in hand. But I see this gratitude, not just with who we are now and the people, our ancestors, the people who raised us, the people who worked with us, the people who helped us along the way. And it doesn't mean that these people have to be people we're related to. They can be people who were strangers that were like, oh my gosh, this person, you know, changed the course of my existence type of deal. There's a gratitude with this moon for this energy. And that is Caraclo, you know, coming forward. It's that beautiful healing. But I also see you like reaching your hand out to your past 
and it's the lessons that you have learned in past lives. It is the understanding that you have gained through past existences that are coming forward now. And I see that that's very unique. That's very unique for this moon. And it's a very powerful thing that's happening, Capricorn. And it moves us to our attraction, our ability, our law of attraction, our ability to attract our energy of success and prosperity is going to be so important. So be mindful of the energy that you're putting out into the world during this time because you're going to be seeing that you get it back tenfold. Have faith. Have faith not just in a religion or an orthodoxy, a belief, but have faith in yourself. Have faith in, in your power. It's not that you can do this all by yourself, right? You're not fully formed from the head of Zeus as Athena was. You are you are stepping into your power of ex existence and soul and, and determination. And it's like, I have faith that I was here, that I'm here for a reason. I have faith that I have a purpose to my existence. Hold to that vision, all right? Hold to that vision, right? Your commitment is being tested. There's there's going to be a time here because we're, we're questioning ourselves, right? With our crowning energy of the Eight of Cups, like we're questioning ourselves, we're questioning the way that we move forward, but you're very close to achieving your goals. Now, bringing love into the situation, we have a mistrust of our heart. We see that with the with the Knight of Cups. We see that with the Knight of Cups reversed, being like, well, what do I hold true? What do I love? What am I passionate about? We can look at our passions and say, oh, that's silly. Oh, I'm not good at what I should be good at. It's like, who said you should be good at this or you should be good at that? What if we embraced our talents and started to see that there was, there are so many options out there. There's, there's more out there than we know. Meditate and contemplate. Slow down. Slow down the noise. It'll be very easy to be pulled into it. Slow down the noise and start to see yourself because you will be surprised at the place that you end up, you know, at the end of the six months. But as you, as you set down your intentions, you will be surprised at what you really want. Like when you move forward in gratitude and you say thank you for these talents. And it's like, this is what I love. This is what I've loved since I was little. You know, you bring that inner child energy forward. And it's going to transform you. It brings us then to our subconscious spirit message. And here we have adaptation reverse. And this is the, this is the Blackberry. All right. But it's so funny because this is, this card has been coming up reverse, upright, reverse, upright for so many readings. And I shuffle these cards and meditate on them and pray over them before I start the reading. So it's, it's always so surprising to me you know, when, when the cards repeat themselves. And here, it's going to be hard to adapt. There's a sense of like, but I should be this certain way. It's like, this is the formula for success. This is what, like, you know, an idol looks like. Like, a, I'm just thinking like a K-pop star, right? Like, this is what a K-pop star looks like. This is what you have to go through in order to get there, in order to be this. And here, it's like, we're having trouble fitting the mold, but we weren't meant to fit the mold. As Spirit always says, if you found this channel, you don't fit in. And it's not like the, oh, I'm a rebel, I don't fit in. It's like, no, it's been painful. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be like everybody else, but I don't. And I'm finding my path, but it has been hard because it would be easier to just fall into line, but I was never meant to. And so here, embracing that, that part of ourselves is, is a challenge, but it's also going to be so beautiful. And like blackberries, it's going to stain us. It's going to stain us. It's going to... It's going to change us in a way that we, we didn't realize we needed to be changed, right? Like when you eat blackberries and they stain your fingertips, it moves us then to our chakra energy, which is creativity. This is a highly creative time. This is our sacral chakra. Embracing our sensual energy, embracing our creative energy is so purposeful, so profound, so beautiful for us. It moves us then to be mindful of the ace of wands reverse. Be mindful of... Yeah. Be mindful. Okay. So what I'm seeing is like, it's like pigs sold a silk. And I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm like, that's interesting. But is it like a sow's ear into a silk purse? Okay. So that's from Mulan. But here it's like, be mindful of something being shown to you that you think, oh my gosh, my dream. And then it's not really like look, scratch the surface because you're going to see that certain things are gilded during this time. They want to be really sparkly, but underneath all worm rot, you know? It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the Eight of Wands. Things are moving really, really fast. It's funny that we have all this creativity, and yet the moon is showing us having trouble with creation, like having trouble taking the creativity, taking the thought, and creating with it. And have faith in your dreams. 
and that's reversed. It's like, see yourself. And that is one of the main difficulties we have during this moon. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed moon. Bye.